in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn big. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as discourse analysis. Listeners and audience, today I am going to teach you hedges. What are hedges? What are the examples of hedges? And how we make the use of hedges? Listeners and audience, hedges are words or phrases or even clauses that are used to indicate that we are not sure what we are saying is correct or sufficiently correct or complete. These are words or phrases or even clauses which help us to express doubt, uncertainty, or even caution about the statements which we are lacking. They indicate that we are not confident and certain about what we are saying. And the statements which we are making might not be accurate or complete. The examples of hedges include, like, I think, as far as I know, a sort of, to some extent, approximately, uh, possibly, etc. So on and so forth. Listeners and ideas, all these concepts will be clear when I provide these hedges with explanation, clarification, and examples. Take the example of I think. I think is a hedge which shows uncertainty and opinion. So this opinion can be, uh, can be true or false. It's not fact. For example, when I say I think, Aslam will participate at the party. So when I say I think, so it means that I'm not sure, I'm not certain. And this is my opinion only, and he may come or not. So I think this is one example of hedges. Another example of hedges is, like when I say a sort of, a sort of mean a kind of, for example, you have seen a book almost five years ago and someone asked you that would you like to recommend a book of grammar to me? And you said that yes, you should buy a Raymond Martin. But now you have seen that book just for one single time and almost four or three year pass, uh, years passed. And you said that yes, you should buy Ren and Martin. And uh, it was a sort of red color. It means when you say a sort of, you are not completely sure, but it is uh, near to, it is near to, to fact or reality, but not entirely. So that's why you, you make the use of a sort of. A sort of is another example of hedges. The third example of hedges is possibly or approximately. Listeners and ideas, take the example of approximately. Approximately, when you make the use of approximately, so it suggests your estimate, not the, the complete and the exact figure. When you say uh, ex, ex, uh, approximately 100 students were present. Approximately, it means you are not certain about it. You, it is your estimate only. And another one is, another example is, to some extent, to some extent means that uh, your statement is partially true. You see, to some extent, uh, this uh, plan will work or this problem will solve. So now hope that you know about hedges. Thank you.